I feel like I'm on the set of Swallows and Amazons. If I make it to England, I'll let you know. It's Just in case you don't come back, can I, can I sell the kids? <sighs> Hi, I'm Daz and she's B, and we're on a 12-week road trip round France with our boys and our greyhound Sammy. Join us as we explore the history, beauty and fun we can squeeze in while getting to grips with the challenges of working and home educating on the road as a family in France, living a life less ordinary as we escape in the motorhome. So here we are at another peaceful park up without a motorway next door, a railway line or people driving scrambler bikes through the night. But why are we here? Why haven't we moved on? Let me take you back. After a great time in the Loire Valley, we headed to Nantes Airport to pick up our 18 year old before heading to Le Sable de Lons, whereupon Andy unfortunately broke his arm on a water slide. It was put in a cast and we were told to come back in three weeks time for a checkup. But if the bones hadn't healed, then we'd have to wait up to six weeks. But in a week's time, we had to be in Bordeaux to catch the Tour de France and get wheels on a plane back to the UK. And in three weeks time, we planned to be down here in the Med. But we had to scrap that idea and headed to Arcachon instead, where we called hospitals en route in Argent and Toulouse, but without success. So we're stuck in limbo by the lakes where you join us today. So we were at another camping car tonight at Parentis en Bon. I may be pronouncing that wrong. And it's cost us eight euros 90 tonight. And we've got electricity and we've got water and waste. And we are about a five minute walk from one part of the lake on that side. But in eight minutes in that direction, it's a whole lot more interesting. Home Ed is done for the morning. We've done some English and some diary writing. So now it's time to have some fun. So, <laughs> the one day that I come out without my swimmers on and some trousers is the day they say, oh no, you have to go on, they're too young. So now, as you can see, they're cycling away from me. I'm in my trousers and my best and they're getting absolutely soaked. But that's fine, the things you do when you're unprepared. And you know us, we're always unprepared. except for the fact we're on a lake. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh my Despite his broken arm, Indy was desperate to join in the fun. <laughs> I am just freezing after an ice cream, having just done that pedalo experience. It was good fun, but I have been a bit of a paranoid mother this morning, constantly saying, keep your arm up, keep your arm up. I don't know I can say it anymore. <laughs> oh, I've got some chocolate on my lap. There you go. Just thinking, if I'm not back in, if I'm not back in uh, two hours, you can ring for the fire brigade. Okay. Or you'll be back in a box, maybe. Yeah. If I make it to England, I'll let you know. Okay, good luck. I had always written off stand-up paddleboards, or SUPs, as a halfway house towards a proper kayak, but actually they offer a very different experience. They're easy to store, ready to go out the bag in 15 minutes, easy to carry, and once out on the water they provide a stable, solid, but low profile platform. As long as you're not going out in gale force winds, you can sit, kneel, or stand to paddle, and you don't have to be strong to do it. Plus you can take paying passengers. Well this evening we find ourselves taking an unusual path seeing if we can do a woodland pathway between two of the beaches that we've seen today. So three of them are taking the paddleboard. Phoenix and I are taking this 
rather more organic route. So we have had some nice boards, but at the moment, I feel like I'm in the wilds of the jungle. I'm not by a lake in France. It's just beautiful. It really is. I was reading today that underneath this lake there is some secrets. One of the secrets is a Roman path that runs alongside by the coast, the Atlantic coast, and a 5th century church. Now, oddly on the map, you can also see some sort of airport. And apparently, there was a particular pilot during the age of aviation between the two world wars, a particular pilot that came to this part of France and said that he felt it was so alive. He's never seen bees on the header like he's seen the bees. And he said that life flows through this region like honey. I think that's quite a nice analogy. I agree. Yes, in less peaceful times, the lake did play host to some rather large seaplanes. Of course, nowadays the focus is more on leisure, with campsites and activities surrounding the lake. Here by the harbour, you can find two or three pub restaurants that are just a stone's throw away from the camping air. The air itself was flat and clean, and there was plenty of space. There was easy access to the town and to cycle paths, and with two beaches just five or ten minutes walk away, and an overnight charge of less than nine euros, including electricity, this became one of our favourite spots so far on our French road trip. Every photograph and video I capture of them just looks magical. I feel like I'm on the set of Swallows and Amazons and there's three explorers finding new worlds. And then I'm reminded that I have company. <laughs> Well, good morning from Parentes en bon. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. What a lovely sight we've come out to this morning. There's a little fishing lake that we pass by and we're just taking our Swallows and Amazons route around the lake this morning. And we see lily pads here and this morning there are some flowers, pink flowers. I feel like I'm back at Monet's garden just for a second. I think I'm excited because I don't often see lily pads and flowers in the UK but I don't think I'm exposed to enough lakes and ponds. Right, my kids are getting annoyed with me. I'm coming, I'm coming. There's just so much beauty everywhere. So much beauty. This is the path I described as feeling like I was in a million miles away. I was on the other side of the world. It just feels like a a set from Swallows and Amazons or Swiss Family Robinson or something. I'm a bit treacherous. Hello, I'm just down on a little cycle, forgot my helmet, I just realised. To get a few uh, healthy things from the shop as well, that's an inflatable tyre of course. I was just cycling along thinking that's a nice decoration, or a strange one perhaps, and then realised it isn't. You seem to find these little white snails climbing up everything. If I stood still long enough, they climb up me. And we're back at the motorhome air, and I've got to go straight out to the supermarket because Sam Sam has nearly run out of dog food. That has already been today, and we forgot bread. This is the first air that we stayed in for three nights, eight euros ninety with electricity and all your water needs. I think it's a bargain, and it's right next to the lake. Oh, you're coming out of an Indian harem there. <laughs> well, that sounds wrong, doesn't it? So, where are you off to? I'm going to Centre Ville. And uh, do you know where you're going? I walked it this morning, so I hope so. I just hope there's enough cycle lanes to keep me safe. There's no need to learn your Green Cross code here. You've got cycle lanes in abundance. It's brilliant. Cool. Right, um, well, enjoy the three children, and I'll enjoy my boiling cycle. Just you're in coming. case you don't come back, can I... Can I sell the kids? You can if you want to. Great. If you, but just make sure you get a good price and you'll need to put in mm -hmm. the discount. Yeah. Um, what? I'm joking. <laughs> what? Well, because you've got a broken arm. Oh, you, you're, yeah. you're not useful. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, Indy needs to be cut price. He's only got one useful <laughs> arm. Yeah, you've been a kind of 
house husband today, haven't you? Stuck in the motorhome yeah. all day. Yeah, poor me. Gallivanting about. Well, I'll go for a swim later. Yeah, yeah. Assuming you come back alive. Yeah, well, you know me and my bike skills. <laughs> They're as good as They're my They're legendary, yeah, yeah. Don't knock my backside. And there she goes. It's like the velodrome at the London Olympics. It's left. Is she going to go right? And that was the last we ever saw of her. <sighs> well, 12 minutes later and I've managed to get myself absolutely lost, but don't tell Daz. I appear to have some sort of timber yard in front of me and a strange, what looks like a stadium, an outside stadium to my left. So here comes Google Maps. I'm really annoyed with myself because I followed the signs to Saint Centreville. Where have I gone wrong? Oh my gosh, I just realised what this is. I've seen posters for this. It's every Monday. This is this awful ball fighting ring. I can't believe it's a permanent feature. No wonder they can say they're here every Monday. <sighs> Yuck. Although some distance from the border of Spain, the influence of Spain is very prominent including this rather outdated spectator sport of bullfighting. And if you're undecided about bullfighting, let me just remind you, it's the painful and prolonged public execution of a healthy animal for entertainment. Well, I've locked the bike up. I've made it. But the likelihood of anyone stealing that compared to those is very slight. Spent ages looking at the dog food, got a ridiculously large bag of dog food. Now can't fit anything else into my bag. What a fool. And now it's finally cool enough, Sam Sam can come and enjoy this beautiful lakeside location. Unfortunately though, he doesn't seem that keen on the water. He's definitely keen on the sniffs. And I think the boardwalk is just confusing for him. Let's see if he'll stay on this. Mind you, either side is water, so he's got no choice really. And through the magical shopkeeper's door came Mr. Ben. And tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be an Olympic freestyle swimmer. <laughs> right. That or you're going to be a feast for mosquitoes. Yes. Oh, gosh. Or a stick, kind of driftwood. Yeah. In the lake. <laughs> uh, right. Enjoy. 8pm swim. Ah, lovely. Au revoir. Au revoir. Enjoy. What do you think, Sam? Fancy going? No, you didn't like the water, did you? Well, that's all for now, folks. Why don't you join us next time where we travel to Mimizan and join in with some of the locals in celebrating Bastille Day. So until our next escape, brackets, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.